It's the start of a typical day around the house, and then your phone rings. It's a call from the U.S. Army, and they want you to come in and interview for a Department of Army civilian position that you applied on. They tell you it's going to be a panel interview in person. You then remember that conversation you had with a friend who works for the Army as a civilian, and they tell you that the interview process is a lot different than a commercial interview. In this video, we're going to provide a few tips and tricks to help prepare you for your first government interview. One of the first things you'll want to do is review your resume and gather some experiences that you can elaborate on in your interview. Also, take time to review the position in which you are interviewing for. If you're conducting your interview in person at an Army installation, remember to arrive early and bring all the proper identification to obtain a pass and gain access to the installation and building. Check with your base's garrison page for ID requirements. The first thing you may notice is there just isn't one person that interviews you. Oftentimes it will be a panel with two to three or even four people who will interview you at the same time. At the start of the interview, the panel lead will introduce everyone and go over the rules which will describe the nature of the questions, how many questions you have to answer, and how much time you have allowed. You are now ready for your first question. When they ask the first question, it's going to sound like they asked you three questions in one. Don't worry though. In most cases, you can ask the question to be repeated as many times as you like. This is a great opportunity to write down the question and make sure you got all the parts. When answering the question, try to use the CCAR model. That stands for Challenge, Context, Action, and Result. Challenge. Describe the specific problem or goal. The more significant the challenge is faced and overcome, the more significant the results will appear. Context. Talk about the individual and groups with who you've worked and or the environment in which you've worked to tackle a particular challenge. This is background information needed to understand why your accomplishment was significant. Action. Discuss the specific actions you took to address a challenge. Focus on actions that showcase your ability to solve problems in the organization in which you are applying. Be sure to include multiple actions. Result. Give specific examples of the results of your actions. These accomplishments demonstrate the quality and effectiveness of your leadership skills. Results can be quantitative and or qualitative. And of course, they need to demonstrate that you have solved the problem. Using the CCAR model will help hone your answer with information that will fully demonstrate your knowledge and comprehension of the quality that the panel is looking for. Other tips include, be mindful of the time. Be your own timekeeper and make sure you're allowing enough time to properly answer each question. In most interviews, if you have time, you can go back to a previous question and add more context. Just make sure to let the panel know which question you want to go back to. Finally, don't be alarmed if you don't get a lot of two-way communication. Government interviews are typically one-way conversations with little feedback given after you answer. This is normal to keep the process fair to all parties. Keeping all these tips will hopefully lead to a position as a civilian in the U.S. Army. Best of luck to you in your future. We're rooting for you. Yeah.